Disgraced Democrat Senator Bob Menendez back in federal court today on new charges. The once powerful head of the Foreign Relations Committee accused of secretly acting as an agent for the Egyptian government. He was criminally charged last month with corruption-related counts, and they allege Menendez and his wife, Nadine, accepted bribes, including thousands of dollars in cash, which were, as you call, like two weeks ago, stuffed inside their clothes in their house. And he even had some gold bars in exchange for his influence. The senator and his wife have pleaded not guilty. Brian Yenis on the story from the federal courthouse in New York. Brian. Harris, good morning. Well, it is illegal for members of Congress to work as foreign agents, but that is exactly what Democratic Senator Bob Menendez is charged with doing in this new superseding indictment, secretly promising to take actions that benefit the government of Egypt in exchange for bribes. Now, look, new photos uh, show Senator Bob Menendez side by side with Egyptian officials and military officials, as well as alongside co-defendants, his wife, Nadine, and Egyptian businessman, Will Hanna. The meetings were held at the senator's Washington, D.C. office, as well as a D.C. steakhouse in the private residence of an Egyptian official in Egypt. Investigators say thousands of text messages reveal a corrupt triangle in which Egyptian military and intelligence officials made requests of Senator Menendez through Hanna and Nadine in exchange for hundreds of thousands of dollars in gold bars and cash. And as chairman of the Foreign Relations Committee, Senator Menendez had unique influence over ultimately approving foreign military sales and financing to Egypt. Prosecutors allege that between 2018 and 2022, Menendez ensured that military aid kept flowing to Egypt. He gave Egypt highly sensitive information on the number and nationalities of staff working at the U.S. Embassy in Cairo. Secretly, Ghost wrote a letter on behalf of Egypt to U.S. Senators urging them to release $300 million in aid, and he lobbied to help Egypt build a dam over the Nile River. Now, Menendez insists he was not a foreign agent and that he is innocent. There was a new poll that came out that found 70% of voters here in New Jersey believe that he should resign immediately. It's more than 30 Senate Democrat senators uh, are saying that he should also step down, but the Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer has not said a word yet about whether he should resign. In fact, he he hasn't said that he should at all yet, um, Harris. And so mm -hmm. we expect him to be arraigned on this new charge at 3 p.m. today. If he's found guilty on all the charges, he could face up to 50 years behind bars, Harris. All right, Brian. Thank you very much. We'll stay on that story. Boy, each week there are new charges against him.